Uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Every time I walk by it, I just want to go in. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's such a mystery that what happened to Freddy and the gang. Yeah. Do you think we should go in? Orville, are you crazy? No, I don't think we should go in. Well, I mean, I don't think anybody's in there. And if so, it's not like they're gonna, like, you know, be evil and destroy us all and stuff. What do you think are in there? Housekeepers? Okay, quite possibly, Pig Patch. Uh, fine, let's go in then. Yes. Well, I think we should start making plans on how to get everybody back. You're right, Carl. The machine is destroyed, though. It's not like there's much that we can do. And on the other hand, we don't even know where they are. Yeah, so it's not like we could just teleport to where they are. Yeah. Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Oh, well, it wasn't my choice to come in here. It was Orville's. Well, I mean, we don't mind it, so we're not mad or anything, but, like, why exactly? I don't know, just, like, every time I walk past it, I just, like, really want to go inside and see what's in there. And now I'm in here, and it's kind of empty. Holy crap, what's that? Oh, oh, that's just a really big karaoke machine, Orville. It's not just a karaoke machine. What do you mean? I think it means that it's a giant, broken karaoke machine. Look at the screen, and buttons are missing and stuff. It's called the gravity machine. Now, you guys, and, well, all of the, all of us, really, have been wanting to get Freddy and friends back. And this machine is our last hope to get them back. Really? Well, let's turn it on. Let's do it. Come on. It's probably not that easy, Orville. Exactly, Pig Patch. It's not, because the power core is pretty much missing from the whole thing, and we don't know how to get another one. And I don't know if Freddy would be too happy with me if I touched all of his blueprints and stuff. Oh. Well, how long have you guys been exactly planning this? Well, pretty much ever since, um, Freddy and everybody else went missing. Well, Carl, do you exactly know Freddy and friends? Yeah, I used to work for him. I got hired at 3 o'clock in the morning on Halloween, 2017. Boy! You're old. Well, I don't age. I'm just a I'm just a kind of anthropomorphic cupcake, I guess you could say. Yeah, he's not like a animatronic or anything or even anything close to a human cuz he doesn't have to eat, sleep, drink or anything like that. Yeah. Well, how come you decided to work with us? Well, because I think you guys could probably help us get Freddy and friends back. Yeah, you guys are going to be helping too. Well then, shouldn't we get started? Yep. So then I was saying, well, you can't exactly eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with your feet. And he said to me after that, well, I at least let me try. So what happened after that? Well, I let him try and, uh, took him about, man, let's say five minutes. I, I don't remember exactly, but that's neither here nor there. Where do you even get all these stories from? Lifetime experiences. All right, we're back. We just had to run some errands. I thought you guys were doing separate things. Well, we kind of ended up going to the same place anyway. Where'd you go, if I may ask? Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Really? Nobody's been in there for 20 years. What'd it look like on the inside? Probably dirty. Huh, that's peculiar. Why did you even go there in the first place? Well, let me explain. I used to be friends with Freddy and the gang a while back before they disappeared. Thing is, I kind of know where they disappeared to. I just don't exactly really know, like, the dimension that it's in and whatnot. But we went back to the old pizzeria. I talked to a former detective of our police department, who is also was friends with Freddy and everybody else, and uh, 
He wants to get them back because there's a new evil coming on the horizon. He just doesn't know what it is, but it could be very powerful. Well, frankly, that sounds, uh, dangerous. No, I think it was going to be fun. Or, uh, being sarcastic, right? Yeah. From what I heard, it is really dangerous. So what exactly are we going to do about it? Well, you guys are going to help us. But it's not going to be easy. I'm working on making a list of things that we need to do. First things first, um, we need to find an energy core and all the spare parts that are missing for the gravity machine. And I think Freddy should have some down in the basement of the original pizzeria. But I kind of don't know where the key is. Didn't you used to work there? Yeah, but I kind of forgot, I guess. I didn't really work there all that much. I just kind of hung out with him. We didn't sell any pizza or anything. We just saved the universe countless times. Well, uh, guys, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go sell some tacos. I'll be back. What's up with him and his taco stand? What, did you not know that he has his own place to take care of? Like we do ours, and, well, Freddy had his? Yeah, you're right. Well, after that, I think we need a little bit more help. Not everybody in Freddy's friend group was captured. Or, well, went missing, I should say. What do you exactly mean? Well, some of the evil villains around that time aren't so evil anymore. They kind of laid low after Freddy and everybody else went missing. And, uh, you know, I've heard that they said they wanted to help us out a little bit. Hmm, we must be in a really serious situation here. You know, this reminds me of the time. Please, no stories. Please? Alright, alright, I'll stop. Now, who wants to go into the basement with me at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza just to look around and see if I can find the spare part? Uh, I guess I'll go. Yeah, why not? Anybody else? Nope, I guess that good. That's good. Well, let's get going.